It will bring you luck. It fly like bird. <laughs> Uh, my name's uh, Jill Mercer, and um, Tom Bowman is my nephew. So my auntie is a sort of a part-time writer, and she had a few scripts and treatments lying around. So I had a look at some to see if any interested me, and I wanted to direct and produce this a film with her in collaboration. One of the storylines that he liked, sort of something I'd written a long time ago, as just as a, a rough treatment was Kite Maker, um, which was really a sort of a short anti-bullying um, uh, film. The film could be compared to Kez, directed by Ken Loach, in many ways, regarding the narrative and the style, but has also got a lot of big differences, so that was one definite inspiration. We had an initial meeting together, as myself and Tom, worked out the division of our initial work that we were going to do. Collaborate with lots of other people to make this film actually happen. Kite Bombs, who made the kites. Also, Brighton Kite Flyers helped out a lot on the main... They came down for free, taught all the kids how to fly the kites, and just, without them, we couldn't have done the kite competition scene. No way. And also, music producers, the soundtrack, Steve O'Neill, he's made a couple tracks for it. KBIS Theatre School, they helped out with acting, we went there and did some casting, picked our actors, and also locations. As well as that, Ricky Keogh came and helped over both times when I went to Brighton filming. Other people, Crew Club Youth Club, which is on Whitehawk Estate where a lot of the film is set. The second lot of um, filming that we did when Tom came back again to film, that went so much smoother because I mean he'd learnt a lot and I'd learnt a lot and you know the actors as well, we'd all kind of learnt how to kind of work with each other. Learnt a lot of new skills as far as directing, never done that before, casting, scheduling, general like producer roles, people skills, communication, camera work working to budget, working to schedule. So it's been a lot a lot of new things I've learnt. Our relationship was fairly good, like we had our ups and downs, we had things that we didn't agree with sometimes, but after we could but we could always see each other's points of view. What I was really impressed with Tom was that he he did you know, he was quite tenacious with it. You know, he he didn't give up on anything and I think um, you know, sometimes when things go wrong or, you know, something doesn't work out, you know, is there's, you know, uh, a lot of people actually give up and think, oh, you know, that's too difficult, I'm going to try something else, but he didn't. How he communicated um, with everybody and he made people feel very at ease and comfortable and, um, you know, he was brilliant with, you know, older people. You know, like myself and like Marcia and you know other older professionals and also obviously very good with young people so um, and you know had, has got an obvious you know passion for what he's doing and um, so that's it really.